Hello my crocheter friends, it's Yobi here today and this is the second video of our crochet tips and tricks series. Today I'm going to show you how to start around in a circle in a chainless way with a new color. The things we are going to need for this tutorial are yarn, a crochet hook in a size suitable for the yarn that you are using, I use in this case a 3.5 mm hook, needle for yarn and a pair of scissors. Let's get started with the tutorial. I guess that now you are wondering why do you need this technique? This technique is very good when we want to work on a circle with different colors. If we take as a reference this circle for instance, this is a circle made by double crochet. In the first round here we use two chains and then 11 double crochet and in the next round again 2 chains and 23 double crochet. As you can see here the difference between the chain stitches and the other stitches is getting more visible and this is getting more and more evident whenever we add new rounds. In this case here we can see this is the chain stitch and the other stitches and once more there is something going on here. With this technique you are going to avoid this and have a perfect colorful circle. I'm going to begin explaining you how to make a standing double crochet. For this we are going to need a slip knot on our hook and I'm going to continue working on the circle that we have made in the previous tutorial. I will leave you the link down below how I make this perfect circle. For a standing double crochet you are going to take your hook and you are going to hold the loose end of the slip knot with the right hand and you are going to, I prefer to place this in between my little finger and the ring finger and now you yarn over and I place my middle finger on top of this to avoid that these two loops move and I'm going to find the fox stitch that we have made in the previous circle so here we have and here I'm going to insert the hook as you can see I'm taking both sides of the B this is the B shape and I take both sides so I take the full stitch in this position I'm going to yarn over and come out through this stitch. I have three loops on my hook, then yarn over and pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now we have our standing double crochet. Now we are going to work two double crochet in every stitch of this round. As you can see here I have worked already the two double crochet in this stitch and here in the next one I found already the standing double crochet. Well here I have to work a second double crochet so that every stitch has two double crochet in this round. I'm going to close this round following the same technique that I have shown you in the first video of this series where we have learned how to make this first circle. Now with the help of a needle for yarn I'm going to create another fox stitch. For this I just twist a little bit the first stitch, so the bump of my standing double crochet here I'm going to the twist to the back and what I do is introduce the needle for yarn here
Now I'm going to hide the remaining threads. And voila, our second round is ready. Let's continue working on the third round. For the third round, we are going to continue working with a slip knot on our hook and a standing stitch. To avoid creating holes, we have to make sure that we do not increase in the fox stitch. Now, let's try to find where is the fox stitch. Can you do that? Okay, I'm going to show you the trick. You just need to turn a little bit the circle and where you see the bump of our slip knot, so in this case it is here, this is the fox stitch. That's the way how you find out. What I wanted to tell you is that here in this stitch we should not start a new round and we should not make an increase. So here we should never make to double crochet. Since the third round asks us to crochet one double crochet in one stitch and then in the next one two double crochet, what I'm going to do is in this stitch, in the fox stitch, I just want that I have one double crochet. So in the previous one I should have two double crochet and here I'm going to begin making one double crochet. Now we know in which stitch we are going to start to work this third round. What I'm going to do now is to take my slip knot in the hook and then take the loose end of the yarn and pass in between my ring finger and the little finger. Then as we have done before, we yarn over and place my middle finger on top of both loops so I hold them. And now I'm going to introduce the hook through this stitch. Here I yarn over and come out through this stitch. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through the first two loops and yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And now I have my standing double crochet for the third round. I'm going to continue working in the next stitch with two double crochet and in the next one with one double crochet. As you can see here, this was the fox stitch and here we just work one double crochet. We do not make an increment here. Okay, this is something that, this is a little trick that you have to be careful when you are working. Then we continue working following the same sequence. One double crochet, two double crochet. Now the third round is ready and as you can see here, in the last stitch I have made two double crochet and here I encounter my first standing stitch. To close this round, I'm going to use the same technique that we used for closing the previous round. And now, tell me, are you still able to distinguish the beginning of the round? I just would like to show you so that you are able to compare. Here, the beginning of the round is evident. It is here and it is here. And can you do the same with this circle? And that's all what I have for you, my friends. I hope that this quick tip is useful for you. If you know any other person who will be interested in this tip, please share this with them. I thank you a lot for watching. Thank you for being here. 
and leave me a comment down below how you enjoy the video what you want to see in the future i leave you a big hug a big thank you and see you next time bye